working as a tension in a joy Leading my pole Leading my pole Leading my family spring flower here and I'm here today with pudding say hi pudding say dog family you haven't seen me in a little while <laughs> hi guys how are you hope everybody's doing good yeah I just want to pop on today and just share this short video with you guys bring pudding on and change him because I haven't changed him and it's kind of chilly in Bermuda today. So I wanted to put him in something nice and snuggly and cozy. And we can hang out together and watch our movie. Right, Puddy? Say yes, Mama. We can hang out together and watch our movie. Watch our movie. Let me take all of these little pieces of everything that's on you. Say, Mama. Mama, I got stuff on me. <laughs> Yeah, guys, so, yeah, I'm going to make um, pudding all nice and snuggly, and I just wanted to share with you guys while I was making this video, um, what, like 13 things that I plan to do before 2024, you know, because so many times, right, guys, we, um, so many times we wait right until the beginning of the year to start you know making new goals new plans and stuff but i decided this time i wanted to start before the new year came in because as you can see guys already we are down to um the last we are down to the last couple of months of the year already time flies by so quick right guys time flies by so quick and we're down to the last couple of months already of the year it is crazy. We're like, not even months, we're in a couple of weeks now. You know, we've got a couple of weeks left till before the new year comes in, you know. And I love a new year. You know, a new year is like a fresh start. Even though it's not, you know, like time and everything is still just going on. But, you know, I like to start over again, fresh, and, you know, see see what I can do to make my life um as best as possible. Right, guys? That's what I like to do. And I hope you guys... um. Like to do, to do the same thing. It's just, it's really nice to have a fresh start, you know, as fresh as we can possibly have it, you know. That's how I look at it. You know, just kind of like a, a fresh start into doing things. And, um, yeah, just getting ourselves, you know, making new goals and making new, new ideals and stuff for the new year. And all that kind of stuff, right, guys? So I decided, you know, when the last couple of weeks of, 2023 so I just wanted to take note of um you know what I would like to focus on in my up and coming year and I want to start doing that from now you know I decided to start doing that from right now some things I already did already right but I'm gonna 
continue to go on doing that. So just in case some of you might know, this is my little pudding. This is Keto Landon, Keto Landon aka Pudding. He is a, a very precious baby in my collection. I know some people were saying how, you know, they were surprised that he wasn't on my dream team. And the only reason why he wasn't on my dream team was because he really was one of those, um, I saw him and I just wanted him. And so I got him. That was it. He wasn't planned. He wasn't a baby that I was trying to have in my collection or anything like that. He was just one of those sweet babies that popped up in my face. He's got the right name. He's called Sweet Bang. His sweet thing and his made by um Julia from All All for Reborns. That's who made him. And the minute I saw this baby, I knew that I wanted him. Like, cause this is chocolate little silicon boy. Yes, and he's the first ever silicon anything that I ever had in my collection. And I do love him. And he is in a category on his own, right? Pretty 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 pop. Right, pretty pop. <laughs> I love me some pudding guy. He's got this guys, he's got this sweet little man man face. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to share with you just, you know, some of the things that I'm doing, you know, that I've decided to do Um, starting now instead of just waiting. They are my, you know, girls and stuff that I really want to focus on in 2020, 2024, you know, but I wanted, I wanted to start doing it from right now, guys, right? So, um... The first thing that I wanted to focus on from right now was I wanted to choose a word because I've put myself in a habit of choosing a word for, for the year and deciding to really like live with that word for the year and have it, you know, in my sight. So I decided instead of waiting until, you know, the beginning of the year, I would, I would rather, um, find a word now so I was thinking of a word that I wanted to have for my up and coming year and the word that I have decided on was prosperity that's going to be my word you know and prosperity means I have my little iPad here prosperity the definition of prosperity is to become strong and flourishing you know to cause to succeed or thrive you know so I want to become strong and flourishing in everything that I'm doing, you know. I want to be strong at it. I want to flourish at it, you know. I don't want it to be just a fleeting thing, you know. So that's the first thing that I did um, was decide on my word. And I decided my word is going to be prosper or prosperity, right. I want to prosper. I want to prosper in my endeavors, right, guys. That's what I want to do. And the second thing, I just have my little... um. I have my little iPad here, guys, because I can't remember everything. But the second thing is um, to cut out any negativity out of my life, right? Any negative, any negative, anything. You know, I want to remove negativity from my life, whether it's any people. Now, mind you, I've done this before, you know, but I just want to continue um, to just cut out negative, anything negative. And even that even goes for social media, like every... Every um so often I take a look at who shares up or who and what shares up on my timeline. Um, is it anybody that I'm following or subscribed to on any of my social media platforms that is not just it's just not good for me. Like I don't like it, like any of the gossip blog sites and you know, anything like that, you know, that's just not good for me that I really don't care to see in my timeline anymore. Anything that I deem that's a little bit negative for me. You know, so I'm going to really concentrate on doing that, cutting out any negative negativity out of my out of my life and any negative people as well. I pretty much have done people already like so I don't have too many negative people. I probably have one, one or two that I could think of right now that's kind of still in my vicinity that just doesn't need to be in my vicinity, you know, so. Yeah, I want to remove all of that. So that's number two, cut any negative people or negative things out of my life. Um, number three, I'm just reaching back, guys. Number three, um, and, and this is in no particular order, guys. I'm just, you know, I just jotted down what was the things that came in my head that I like to do. And number three is to clear clutter. Always got some clutter to clear, right, guys? 
always have clutter to clear. So I want to continue to clear clutter. And actually this weekend, that's what I did. I had a pile of clothing in my room and it was a mixed pile. It was a pile of things that um, I wasn't going to wear anymore. It was a pile of things that I am going to wear again. I'm um, just a mixed up pile of stuff. And it was just at the foot of my, like at my closet. And I'm like, all right, it's, it was there for weeks because it was a pile that I kept adding to. And this weekend I concentrated on clearing that pile up. And that's what I did, guys. And then be the week before that, it was my shoes. You know, before I had all my shoes just pushed up under my bed, I got these nice long containers that fit underneath my bed really nicely. So I separated my shoes and just put my shoes in those containers. You know, so I did that. So I've been just clearing up some clutter, guys, right? Just just clearing the clutter. So that's number three. Um, Number four, I'm revisiting, again, saving money. Last year, I did pretty good, but I ended up spending a good bit of my money that I saved up, you know, so again, I am going back into my savings, guys, you know, I'm got a little bit and I just want to add, continue to add to it. So I'm going back into saving money. I do have a number in my head that I would love to see at the end of the year, at the end of next year. I would love to see this number that I have in my head. Um, It's there and I, I'm going to keep. My plan is just to keep saving till I see that number. So this is going to be like a hobby for me as well. Just seeing different ways I can cut costs and save money any way that I can. You know, so I'm definitely adding back to my saving money. You know, and I'm not saving for any particular reason. I'm just trying to make myself a little nasty because things always come up. So, yeah, I have a lot of things that I do have to do. But I also want to still um just try my best to save money. Right, guys? Um... Number four, number four is, um, oh, I said save money. So number five is my spiritual life goals. Like, um, I want to make sure this year I didn't get to a lot of meetings, um, at the kingdom hall. That's where I go. That's my place of worship. I am a, a witness, a Jehovah's witness. So, um, I want to, you know, I've been off track a little bit, you know, so I'm trying to continue to get myself back on track. That was something that I had for 2023 as well. I, this year I see where I did way better when getting myself on track and I just want to continue to do that, continue to uh, try my best to attend more meetings and make it back, get back in the groove of continuing to go to more meetings in person, you know, because we go on Zoom sometimes as well. So I want to continue to go to more meetings in person. I want to continue to just be up on my Bible studying just a little bit more, right? I just want to be up on my Bible studying and stuff just a little bit more. And my, you know, just my study and my prayers, all of that. I'm trying to build myself back into those good habits. Continue to, I should say, um... I see where I can improve and be a little bit better with it. So I'm really working on doing that. This is my Johnson & Johnson little cologne for my baby so he can smell nice. And man, let me put some on you just a little bit. <laughs> so yeah, that's number five, guys, right? My spiritual life. Number six is exercise. I'm really trying to make myself exercise. I'm not a good exerciser, guys. Once upon a time, I used to exercise every single day. Um, but as I've gotten older, I am not ashamed to say that I have gotten a bit lazier, just a little bit more tired. And I really want to add more exercising into my life. Like, you know, conscious exercise. Like, even if it's just for 20 minutes. And I already made up my mind that I'm only going to do so many days a week and just build myself up. So I'm trying to do at least three days a week to start myself off. And then build myself back up to, you know, at least five days. But I'm starting with three. And I'm starting my, I really want to do three consec consecutive days straight in a row. I really want to get up and exercise Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And if I feel to add more days than that, then I will. But in the beginning, I want to at least do Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Today, I did a little bit of exercise, just a little bit, not much. Um, I kind of mix my exercise with other things like being outside in nature. But um, yeah, so I actually did a little something today. So I want to keep that in my habits, keep that in my game plan. You look so handsome already, man. Yes, you do, my sweet, precious man. My sweet, precious man. You look so cute already. Yes, you do. You look so cute already. Look at pretty, guys. 
See, mama, I y'all got all types of water on me. Can you get the water off me, please, mama? I didn't know me. I put water all on you, didn't I? Didn't I mean I put water all on me, little sweet stinker? I did. So, y'all guys, I want to exercise more. I'm just wiping some of that water I sprayed up. <laughs> I definitely want to do some more exercise. And don't he look so adorable, guys? Oh, my goodness, buddy. Mama forgot how cute you are. Yes. So, yep, that's number six, exercise. Number seven is spend more time in my hobby. I do want to spend more time with my dolls. I From doing my dream team video, it just really made me aware of many dolls that I need to change and to wipe down and stuff like that. So I do want to spend more time in my hobby, whether I make a video or not. I do want to spend a little bit more conscious time in my hobby, you know, so I want to do that. Um, number eight is plan my trips because, um, you know, I do have some trips that I have laid out for 2024 that I really want to do. Three main trips that I really want to do in 2024, you know, go up villain and I need to plan those out. So that's something exciting. I'm really excited about that. You know, um, let's see what else. Um, number nine, that was number eight, plan more trips. Number nine was, um, home maintenance. So I've been around my home. Um, while my son was on vacation, especially all of us went around the home and just took note of all the things that need to be fixed and things that need to be done. So we are actually starting already with that, working on things around the home that need to be sorted out and fixed and trying to see the best financial way to do it, you know, um, the most cost effective way as possible. So we're all going to work together in getting that done. Putty, do you need a pacifier? Do I have any in her? Do I have any? They might be all downstairs, man. They might be all downstairs, man. I think they are, man. But I'm got a water bottle. You want some water? You want some water? Hmm? You want some water? <laughs> you want some water? Have some water. Have some water, man. Are you spitting it out? You don't want that? <laughs> don't mind me, guys. I'm just playing. <laughs> he got a bottle. You know what a man? Yes, say yes, please, mama. Yes, please. So yeah, um, yeah, do some hair maintenance. Number 10, I want to a journal. So I'm trying to add that back into my life where I'm just consciously journaling about life, about my life, whether it's two sentences long or three pages long. I want to get back into journaling every day. Just waking up with gratitude and just, you know, journal what's in my heart, what's on my mind, and all of that. Because it is a nice way to be. So I want to journal more. Um, number 11, um, spend a little bit more time out in nature. Um, I actually, like I said, I started that today. You know, I went out and just, you know, enjoyed the ocean. Because I live in a very beautiful place, living here in Bermuda. It's a very, very beautiful place to live. I have to give thanks every day. So I want to take advantage of that, right, guys? Not just being in the house watching TV and stuff, because I am a TV girl. So, yeah, I want to do... Less TV watching and more spending time out in nature. So I want to add that in, you know, into my life. Um, yeah, spend more time in nature. Um, I want to read more. I want to read more. I used to be an avid reader reading all the time. Now, I have read a couple of books this year, but I want to read more. I want to, like, at least read one book a month, two books a month. Like I want to get, do less social media stuff, less scrolling TikTok and more reading. That's what I want to do, right guys? And I do read like, you know, on my Kindle, but like, that's like right on my iPad or my iPhone. And I just want to get away from that, that electronic stuff altogether and go back into um, books that I could turn the page as much, as much as I can. If you saw in the beginning of my video, guys, you will see where um, around the island, we have these little book stations all set up in different parts of the island. And I took a book out, you know, you, put, you take a book for free. And I, I tend to put a book back there as well, because that's what people do. You know, you, you, you take a book and replace a book, you know, stuff like that. So I'm going to go back and put a book in there that I've already read. Um, yeah, so I want to read more. And 13 is what I definitely didn't want to do was... I want, what I definitely want to do and not forget to do was actually take time and reflect on some of the goals that I did accomplish 
from last year, like goals that I set out for last year. I wanted to take some time and reflect on what I actually accomplished, what I almost accomplished, what am I, what am I still working on? Like, cause a lot of times we don't take time to just see the things that we've actually done because you know life is just always going and going and going so we don't take time out to see the things that we've actually accomplished right guys so that's what i want to do i want to take time out to really think about things that i did actually accomplish like you know some of my girls last year were to travel and I, I mean, in the beginning of this year were to travel and I've done lots of traveling. Some of my girls were to save money and I did save money. Some of my girls were also to, same ones I have now, you know, to study more, to get into my spiritual things more and I did way more of that this year. So I'm really happy. So I am reflecting because I don't want to be like, oh, you did nothing, you know, and you just, you know, haven't accomplished a thing, you know, so... Yeah, so I decided that I would, you know, make these, this list of things that I want to continue to do and some new things that I'm added to it. And, um, yeah, guys, so that's my goals that I, some plans that I want to start doing before, you know, to do now. Before 2024 hits, I wanted to start doing these things right now. My light's flashing like it wants to go out. I hope it doesn't. <laughs> but yeah, guys, so that's it for me today. And that's it for us, right, Putty? Everybody wanted to see you, man. <laughs> so me and Putty's going to chill out, guys. We guys are going to chill. We're probably going to lay back and watch a movie, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you got inspired to make your own list before, you know, to things to do now in um 2023 before 2024 comes you know start your list now start your goal planning now you know so that by the time the new year hits you got a head start so that's what i wanted to do and that's what i want to share i hope you guys um do the same thing because you know it's just good to do and with that dolly family i just want to tell you i love you dolly family and remember is your dose your way bye bye <laughs> Say bye, Steve. <laughs> Stay mindful. Now's the time. Use the focus of your mind. Let it rest upon what brings you joy. Recognize the tension.